I can hear you saying, Bart Simpson lost his homework? Sure. What's his lame excuse this time? Hey, I swear, I fell asleep. What a nightmare. Eight levels, each one scarier than the last with villains like Homer Kong, Momthra, and Barney Gumble riding a pink elephant. I have to collect a page on each level before I wake up and blow the whole assignment. You're my only hope, man. I feel like we went in and out of character seven times in that paragraph. This is The Simpsons' Bart's Nightmare from Sculptured Software, published by Acclaim, released in 1992, also known as, sit down for this one, Bart no Fushigi na Yume no Daiboken. There you go. Of course, it's part of The Simpsons franchise, and it's a video game, so that means it's going to be terrible. How terrible? Uh, GameFAQs gave it a 2.7 out of 5. So our plot, we fall asleep while studying and we have to roam the streets and find our lost homework through various levels to keep them until we wake up. Uh, the game is split into two parts. The first is set on a street. Uh, we walk around and have to find pages while avoiding enemies such as living post boxes and various characters from the show. You can collect your skateboard which acts as a power up and increases your speed as well as restoring your health bar the longer you have it. Jimbo and the gang would coerce Bart into strolling with them causing Bart to lose control of his movements and he has to move with them. Even having to take damage, Lisa would sprinkle fairy dust on Jumbo and his gang to transform them into rats. But if Bart is hit by himself, Lisa would turn him into a frog, where a frog Bart could not attack. If Bart is caught and kissed by an old lady, it would revert him to his human form. You have to use bubblegum to blow a bubble to repel animals, enemies, excuse me, such as and collecting floating Z's to restore health. You really aren't given any clue as to what's going on when you're just looking at this. Um when a page is found, you can jump onto it. Bart will, Bart will shrink down into the page, and you have to choose out of two randomly selected mini games. And you kind of go through and see what you got there. There's a Bartzilla mini game. There is a Journey into Bart's Bloodstream, an itchy and scratchy game, Bartman flying over Springfield, and Indiana Bart. I somehow managed to find that one fairly early and was never able to get into another one during the. Uh, playing and recording in this video. Company meddling during the development of the game prompted Bill Williams, the game's designer, to leave the video game industry. What did Williams do? Um, American-born designer, programmer, and author with cystic fibrosis. Well, that's something. Uh, according to me, that doesn't really tell me much. We're just going to skip it. Look him up yourself. Entertainment Weekly wrote that falling asleep while doing his homework, Bart has to battle with the demons of his subconscious, imagining himself as, among others, a rampaging green Bartzilla and a caped Bartman. A surreal blast! Mega gave it 35%, Superplay gave it 91%. What is wrong with you, Superplay? What is wrong with you? What have you seen, ladies and gentlemen, so far in this that would make you think, you know what, this is almost perfect. Uh, it does look fine. Simpsons games usually do because it's just really bright and colorful and cheery and that translates over really well to video games. But unfortunately, you have to play it and nothing in this game is fun.